This roof should give me a clear view. Calder, with your permission, we will now return to Asa. Soon, I have need for you still. Asa's warriors, where do they fit into all this? You are one of our captains, yes? A duty I share with two others here. I thought I saw something in you. Stout, resolute. Step over here. Sigrun and Halstein were two of the most revered sons of Ivaldi. If such prestige is a requirement for these rituals, then Calder is surely luring that Muspel to his death. I wonder if there's a way I can observe the ritual up close. I need to approach Calder without him taking notice. Perhaps the best way is with deception.
trust there will be no surprises this night. Come, join me. Big one, despite your daughter's rumbling, it's only used as a tale to scare the little ones. What do you see, Sunan? These fools dared stand in her path. <laughs> Several wounds. This one put up a fight. Briefly, I suspect. Salakar is not safe. 
Show me. These two brought all the fires of Muspelheim with them, and Freya wonders why I have always refused to take her on a tour of that scorched dunghill. Two sets of footprints. One is stretched, like someone fled. The other closer together, uneven and lined with blood. They were hobbling, perhaps. Asan Calder fought here. Blood was spilt. Asan Calder fought here. He gained the advantage. Foolish girl. Asa, your rage makes you vulnerable. She's hurt, but not enough to stop her. Looks like she followed Calder up that hill. I should be cautious around here. No sight of Asa or Calder. Only these curious Jotun buffoons who stand in my way. They should run. But they won't. This looks to be the source of all that noise. Spells that Ragnarok came early. Asa's spear abandoned. Did Calder and his minions finally best her? Asa chased Calder into this camp, leaking her lifeblood, blinded by rage and utterly reckless. <sighs> Looks to have cost her too. She came crashing in, mauling whatever half-wit stood between her and Calder. But those half-wits fought back in numbers. Injured and disarmed, she was overpowered and restrained. Calder then had her tossed onto a cart like a sack of turnips. Looks like they fled up that path. What is it Calder plans to do with the little princess now that she is his prisoner? Surely not. These tracks lead west. I must find Calder and the Salakar. For Baldur's sake.
Sure, they live long enough to achieve that wisdom, and so I do not have the luxury of being faultless. They made a turn here toward the river. Hey, sir. Is that you again, mad one? Come to tempt fate, I see. I do not die this day. Can you say the same? <laughs> ah, yes. You've proven once already how you like to strut around, unencumbered by fear. Perhaps the cellar car did not give you an adequate taste of it. Enough of this blithering. Hand over what is now mine, or shall I just take it? To no fear. We must be subjected to it. When I am through with you, I will take Asa's willful ogre. Soon after, the Salakar will be complete. Then, believe me, you will know fear and pain. Just like your son. Is that your best? Come now, Harvey. Even your boy put up more of a fight. I enjoy poking my blades into Baldur's flesh, seeing what's up. Why is Sutra collecting Hugas? What does he mean to do with the Salakar? Tell me! <clears throat> Why do you aim to finish my work? 
Ask yourself how much you care to suffer in these final moments. Do your worst. You are wasting your breath. He will not tell you. And he won't have to. His secrets are known to me now. You want them? Move aside. Move aside, or I will destroy it. Traitor! Traitor? It is you who are slaughtering your own kind. What I do, I do for Suta! Such devotion requires a strong Hugar. All these Moospil sacrifices... You need it only look inward. Was he right? About you wanting to complete the Salakar? Sutra will not trade my son for something he cannot use. So you will see it through? To what end? How many lives would you take? For Balda, I would drain all nine realms. Even Asgard. The words of a dreadful king. And a selfless father. It is the one thing that separates you from my own. You wish to reunite with your son. I wish to see my father's plans lie in ruin. No matter the price. Can you see both through? I can. But I will need your help. The Selikar still requires the hooger of a suitable Jotun. Colter never found one. I must get hunting. Do as you will. In the meantime, I'll join my stepmother, wherever she may be. I will try to learn how the Salakar fits into my father's plans. Under the guise of a contrite stepdaughter, of course. Keep it. I will need a way to find you when it is time to confront my father. You and this bauble share a bond. I set out to use you to my advantage. It ends with me in your debt. If it were not for you, I would have never known what my father was capable of. He used our people. Turned them on each other. For his gain. I cannot forgive him. And to that end, I am your ally. In Asgard, an ally is a friend. Let us not get carried away.
the hammer to which all other hammers must yield. Broker and Sindri had made two gifts that outshone the works of the sons of Ivaldi. Now they meant to make their masterpiece. Mjolnir, Giant's Bane, a hammer that could level mountains and that never missed its mark when thrown and always returned to the hand of its owner. Excited the right temperature for their work to be perfect. And yet again, Loki visited as a fly. So desperate to make Broca fail, he bit the dwarf's eye harder than any fly had ever bitten before. This time he did not fail. The hammer was flawed, and the hand a fraction too short. Yet even so, we judged the work of Sindri and Broker superior. Loki lost his bet, and his head was forfeit. Few would have mourned the death of Loki. But of course, the trickster found a way to go back on his word. A tale for another time, perhaps.
Oh no! Oh no, no, no! Ah, 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 shit! Just let me go! I'm not... Ah! And no threats! Please! Steady now. You're all right. Oh, thank the gods. I couldn't last much longer. Bless you, High One. Bless you and all of your kin. I wasn't the only High One today, huh? Too... too soon for jokes. But I thank you. Find me in the Jörveger shelter if you can get past the hedonists, and I'd like to give you a gift. These giants. There's more of them, you know? They spoke of a leader, a hideout, maybe. East of Skidbla Nismeda, sounded like. Ring any bells? I will think on it. Perhaps I will seek out this leader and see to it they bother no one else. Do feel free to boot them off a very tall height, I want, should you wish. At any rate, I seek the solid ground of the Yerdega shelter. Farewell. The dwarf. And that was the place they spoke of.
Impressed with the craft of the Dwarven Smiths, Loki set them to fashioning great gifts he could bring to Asgard, and win back the favor he had lost. Skidbladnir, best of all the ships, beloved by the wind, big enough to carry all of Asgard's finest into battle. Small enough to fit into a pocket. This would be Freya's gift, and it pleased him well. With such gifts, would Loki find forgiveness? My brother always knew how to win hearts. To him, it was almost as easy as breaking them. Thank you. 
Snakes get you. Are you well? No bites. Just tell me you made those bastards suffer. I hope you hurt them even half as much as the suffering they just caused. I'd be just as dead were it not for you. You find yourself in the Hotba shelter. Come and see me, so I can thank you properly. There is no need. Well, I respectfully disagree. These giants? There's another giant they answer to. Reckon maybe someone ought to pay them a visit. You want to find them? Then you'll want to look out for the mountain paths north of Svarufosra and be on your guard. Your desire for vengeance is noted. Should I venture north, I may seek out this leader and put an end to them. Then I shall make my way back to the shelter. Hope to see you again, stranger.
any signs leading to the shelter.
What is the problem? Uh, it's this cart, stuck in the mud, see? And so, my sacred duty will never be fulfilled. Sacred duty? Well, that's right. In my family, when our days are nearly done, we hide our most beloved treasures behind waterfalls. Why? Because what is a waterfall with nothing behind it? A water fail, that's what. Of course, with moose bells everywhere, I cannot wait until I'm nearly in the ground. Think you could help me out? I'll pull the cart free. The cart? No. Lug this chest up those cliffs there. Much quicker if you do it. I'll make it worth your while. I am actually very busy. Oh, it'll take a mere moment. Found the perfect spot already. Right behind one of the waterfalls. Walk along that log. Follow the path up the cliff, go through a little cave, and you'll find the right waterfall. You'll know you're in the right spot when you find the white flowers. Bring me a few, would you? So I know you managed to find it. <clears throat> white flowers. Very well. Oh, you are kind. I'll wait for you right here. My savior. Well then, do you have the flowers? I do. Here. Ah, oh, excellent. And, uh, you did put the chest where I asked, yes? Of course. Good, good. Then you have my thanks. My sacred duty is fulfilled. And my reward? Oh, the finest of all. Gratitude. And the satisfaction of a job well done.
me now! 